August 3rd, 3rd of August 2013, we're here in Cebu with Jenny Rose de Guero. Jenny, how are you? Good, how are yeah, you? I'm very good as well, <laughs> thank you. Now, Jenny, this is exciting, right? We had uh, only six weeks ago, Subic Bay, yep. 5150. How did that race go for you? Um, surprisingly, well, not that good for me, but I still won the race, but uh, it was a great experience because it's my first time to compete in a triathlon race where there's a lot of competitors. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. So it's a bit exciting. So coming into the 70.3 this coming August 4, it's a bit more exciting, more more, more to expect from the athletes, more to expect from me, more to expect from the race. Yes, it's a big race. Obviously, yeah. for the Philippines, this is the race of the year. So uh, everybody gets prepared for this. Um, we um, let's go. Let's take a little step back. How did you hear about Team TVB before you actually joined us? Um, to tell you honestly, last two thousand and eight, Brett approached me in uh, I think in Clark, mm. where I raced a duathlon race. Mm. Then he invited me to join TVB, and he in uh, I think that program at that time he invited me to join the training camp abroad. I think in Switzerland. Yep. Um, that time, I was still studying, so I declined the offer, <laughs> and I stopped doing sports. I concentrated on my studies, and then just last year, I was thinking of going back to triathlon, and Coach Matt uh, messaged me through Facebook that they were looking for a girl athlete, yep. uh, for a developmental program for a girl athlete, and right timing i was thinking of going back to triathlon so that's how it started great great so yeah you've actually seen the program even in its very initial stages in shooting bay where chrissy wellington was yes. uh, was training um jenny you're you're in, in a way very interesting um as a person but also to see how you're balancing your life between mom mm. and 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 being a wife and an athlete, how do you do that? Um, actually, at first, it was a bit hard for me since I my work is far from my home, number one. Number two, I have a son to attend to. And number three, uh, most most of the time, my work covers most of my time, mm -hmm. that like during the day. So I get little training time during the day. For example, I train early in the morning, like 5 a.m. to to cover my other errands, my other duties as a mom, as a wife, yeah. as, a, as a coach to a young group of swimmers. But I think dedication and hard work and the will to, the, 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 uh, the will to you to, to actually, to want it, to mm. want what you, what you want to have. Mm. So that's how, that's how I focus during training. That's great, that's very impressive because we all know that that as a professional athlete, sometimes you have to almost be, to some extent, a bit selfish and focus on yourself. But yep. your environment and your life circumstance it doesn't really allow you to, because mm. as a mom, you have a big responsibility yes. already right there. So I think everybody finds it very impressive, and I think it's, I think in a way, you're you're a great role model and showing people that 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 being a mom. And uh, definitely doesn't have to limit your opportunities and mm. what you can do, right? Yep. Yeah. I actually, when I started doing the program, I thought it would be impossible for me to complete, I think, one whole week of training. Mm. But I, I took it one day at a time, one training at a time, and it all worked for me. Yes. Yeah. And I get you. I got used to it. Yes. So, yeah. It's big, big, probably big volume compared to what you did before, or... On the swimming, obviously, you did big volume as well. Uh, yes, on the swimming side, yes, I did big volumes. Like, I, I do 60K a week of training when I was a swimmer. Yeah. But compared to this, to the training program of triathlon, it's a bit harder because you have to cover three sports. And yeah. I think the different energy levels you, you use for each sport is quite difficult. Yes, different muscle groups, yes. different body, yes, and different environments. And mm -hmm. And the pool is just, you know, very contained within one area, up and down and up and down. And here's yep. the weather and, yep, yep. yeah. Now, um, let, let's step back a little bit. In Subic, obviously, you, you had a great race or, well, you just say you had a great result. But you mm -hmm. yourself were saying you're not totally happy with it or 
you didn't feel the race went right for you? Or? Um, I, I thought I could actually have given more if I have prepared more for it because uh, I think uh, a month or three weeks before the race, I, I didn't train that much because of my summer job because my work that summer had to be from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So wow. it's re it was really hard for me to manage to balance my time. Yeah. Yeah. I can understand. Do you think that that will also, to some extent, influence your race tomorrow? Because now it's in half Ironman. It's even it seemed that you know double the 5150 distance uh, from Subic. Um, I'm actually quite um, excited. And a bit nervous at the same time how I'm going to do tomorrow because I trained for it for the past six weeks, mm -hmm. but I don't know if I'm gonna cover for what I missed or what I did not do in the 5150. Yes, right. And that, in a way, also explains quite a bit of your balancing act, right? You mm -hmm. always feel that there's a lot of time in across so many different parts of your life that you have to give. So yeah. I guess sometimes you just have to let go of that emotion and just, just give it your own yes, and, and just right. go crazy in the race. Yep. <laughs> yeah. um, you, coach, uh, you coach kids, uh, Jenny, in, in swim classes. How do you feel this, this Team TBB experience for you and working so closely with Coach Matt um, helps you also as a coach yourself in simple swim class? Mm, actually, before I started the program, I was I was inclined in, I was excited doing the program because I wanted to show my kids how, how it is to work hard and how to reap what you have worked for. So uh, this, this coming race, or I think the last 5150 race was a bit um, exciting for me because I came home first mm -hmm. and my kids were happy for me and I think uh, it boosted their confidence and they, they, they were also working hard for themselves during training and I think I gave them the morale to do well also in swimming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fantastic. Right, I think it's great. So, um, obviously, um, you, 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 you're a professional athlete, and, uh, and all athletes, and especially professional athletes, always have, have dreams. Mm. What, what's your dream? What do you hope to achieve? Um, I'd like to take it one day at a time, so hopefully to finish tomorrow and finish strong. Yes. That's my short-term goal. Yes. Yeah, but my long-term goal is of course to compete uh, with the world class level athletes because yeah. I've been used to it before when I was swimming I competed in the Olympics so yeah. I I'm hoping of coming back in in the Olympics in another sport so yeah it should be very impressive yes yeah. it's not it's not impossible no <laughs> yeah what has what distance so far has coach Matt focusing you focused on I'm actually thinking about it uh, because the Olympics is an Olympic uh, Olympic distance race. It's, yeah. it's not a 70.3. So I think Coach Matt wanted us to join 70.3 so he will know what event, what specific event we are good at. So yeah. maybe we're for Olympic or maybe we're for long distance events. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. All right, Jenny. We wish you a great race tomorrow. Mechanical luck. And uh, <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll stay in touch. Thank you. Thank you.